We had a huge natural disaster here in 2011. And one of the biggest issues they had in informing the public of what to do and where to go was we didn't have an effective communication mechanism. My name is Chuck Grant. I'm the Assistant Chief of Technology for the Magnolia Volunteer Fire Department. We're located here in Magnolia, Texas, which is about 40 miles northwest of Houston. We cover a little less than 300 square miles. We operate nine fire stations in that area and maybe hope to have a tenth open soon. The fire was in such a size that it knocked out a lot of cell service in the area. So things like Twitter and Facebook weren't really a viable option to communicate with the public. When the typical electronic communications kind of petered out on them, they drove to the fire stations to try to find out what to do or where to go, and in a lot of cases, try to offer assistance. There was no one in the fire stations because they were all dealing with the emergency. So started working with the fire chief. His idea was to purchase LED signs. We'd have them in front of the fire stations and we would use those signs in those times of emergency to tell people where to go and what to do. Out of that idea became, well, what's it gonna look like? It's one thing to buy a sign, stick it on a pole, but it's not very attractive. The idea came that if we had a symbol of the fire service buttressing the sign, if we could put a fire hydrant on either side of it, that that would look real good for the fire station and look good for the community. Well, how are we gonna make a big fire hydrant? So we looked at having them cast fiberglass, bronze. We figured out that that's all way too expensive. Doing a little more research, I found Gigabyte. Knowing my 3D modeling skills, I knew I could make a fire hydrant. It was just a matter of scaling something up from, say, an inch tall to 99 inches. And the Gigabyte was able to do that for us. 